Today's uh, Wednesday the 20th, 7.32 p.m. and it's 63 degrees outside here in Steve's garage. Howdy folks. Today I was playing around in the garage all day and thought I would uh, show you what I'm up to. First off I gotta go and I gotta take get into the, the uh, bottom end of these tines on a tiller yesterday it just quit working for me I have no idea what the deal is but it gives me something to look into and uh, let's see what else did I do oh here's the finished cradle I'm just waiting to put in the house I don't want to put it in the house at least for a week or two let it dry and let's see what else I do oh I hung up a clock I had that in the basement hung that up out here oh and uh, I also made some more room up there for uh, added stickers and I also uh, what else hmm I was going to clean and polish the engine compartment because I haven't did it in a couple years but uh, another day and what else uh, hmm I'm debating about putting a set of doors on this because it was all open this way I can use it for hiding power tools but I'll put a set of doors on the front and maybe enclose the back with regular steel. I don't know yet. I just stuck it up there to see what to get ideas. And let's see what else. I guess. Oh, and I opened up this. I moved. I moved the brake to open up Miss Mo Power. Haven't seen her in a while. And uh, I got to move those. I was looking at them. It's all full of dust. I haven't seen those in a while. I might as well plug in Miss Mo Power. Oh, it ain't gonna work that way. Hold on, folks. Here you go. Welcome back, huh, Miss Mo Power? So, other than that, I think I'll get into that uh, tiller and show you the beginnings and the ends part way through to give you something to look at. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, here's where I start. I think the first thing I should do is take off all four of those tines. Now that that's done, I guess I'm going to have to get into taking apart this out of cover. I don't know if you can see that without the light, but that's about what we're looking at. So I'll get that off and I'll get back with you. I had decided, I was looking upon it more, and there's four bolts holding a unit under the engine. See if I can't take the engine off of this. I already did three of the bolts. Uh, wrong size. Believe it or not, I picked this up on a curb about three years ago. And all I did was go home, come home, clean the filter, put gas in it, gas oil mixture, and it started right up. Worked fine. this piece here so I guess I got to pull this whole unit off and uh, I'll be right back with you there's there's four bolts up here it's got to come off it takes it off of this upper tree I thought that whole thing was gonna lift off with it but hold on I'll be back looking at it further after I took the engine off I uh, Spinning. This is this. This was inside the bottom. I guess like a clutch in the bottom of it, right there. And uh, I started spinning. Where are you? I started spinning this, which the clutch rides, and you can see the wear inside it from the clutches. But uh, it's no longer freed up. As you spin it, you can see the shaft spinning. So. I believe it's now I believe that it's in the engine the lower half of the engine why that why it froze up so 
that's freed up too, but I don't understand. Maybe if I had beaten on it or something, I had freed it up because I was beating on it pretty good. Trying to get the stud out of here. Trying to get the stud out of here because this one was pretty well, where, where are we here? It was pretty well seized in there. So a little bit of coil and a lot of beating it came out. I'm still going to take it off, take it apart, look inside there. Maybe there is something I can do, grease it up or whatever. And uh, I'll show you what's on the inside. Talk about tearing it all apart, eh? Just to get at this. That's okay. That's all right. I'll rebuild it, I guess. It sure spins pretty freely. Uh, seeing that I've gone this far, I don't know if I want to go any further. It just seems to be going fine. So, oh, what the heck. I'll go into it all the way. I do believe I'm there. Just got to get these bolts out of here so I can get it off of that stand. should come apart. Oh, guys out of the picture. Alright, where was I? Let's see here. I believe that's all of them. Oh, this is one right here yet, but a screwdriver. Should be a screwdriver up here. Oh, I might have put it away. I'll be right back. I gotta get a screwdriver. No, I don't. I can just use the wrench. Alright, I'll get this off and I'll start taking it apart. Yeah, sometimes you're better off leaving this stuff alone. But me, I can't do that. I got to see what's going on in here. So next time it happens. Now what's locking it in place here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to lose any of these screws, bolts or whatever they're called. Alright, here it comes. I think. Keeps giving me a couple inches and then stops again. So uh, maybe I should just make sure these are all loose before. Because I, I don't know, I don't want to take up all day long on this. I don't want that video to be too long. But that should be it. Come on now. Well, it's all just a couple of them at the bottom threads holding it. I hope you hope I'm not going out of the frame. There we go. There we go. It's nothing to it really. Uh, just clean it up is what I'll do. There you have it. I'll just clean it up. It looks pretty simple. Get some of this dirt and stuff out of it and we oil and we grease it and put this baby back together. I don't want to lose any of these screws. <laughs> Jeez. Oh well. That's what I get for saying it. That's alright. I got them. Okay, so uh, with that I'm going to shut you down for today. I think I'll download this and putting it back together and showing you that it runs at a, at a later date because it will so uh, with that uh, hmm so with that from the camera I tightened this tripod up pretty good is what I did I'll see you guys later so uh, thanks for watching I'll talk to you guys later and uh, I appreciate all of you it's just kind of hard to uh, 
come up with stuff to video. So have a good one and I'll see you later. Bye bye. I just thought I'd mention this. I think I found the culprit that locked it up. There's a rock right there. I have no idea where it fell out of. But I'm sure that rock had something to do with seizing up those that lower half. So, uh, thanks for watching again. I'll see you later. Rock on!